Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is having a great day. I'm going to be talking about the Bates family again and a big question that I've seen pop up in my comments under the Bates family videos is how do they earn their money? So I know that can sound a little bit intrusive, but I do have some information and I just want to clarify these questions are asked in response to some of the Bates kids like Katie and Carlin taking trips every week and some people are just curious. So I'm going to highlight more of what they are earning from YouTube alone and who makes the most. So you will actually be surprised. So I'm going to start with the least and work my way up to the top earning Bates. So the person in the family making the least amount of money from YouTube is Lawson with an estimated of $1,400 per month. Lawson has almost 77,000 subscribers and he uploads about once a week like most of his siblings. I'm really not shocked at Lawson being last because he doesn't put out anything that's too exciting like stuff for viewers that is real life struggles, a day in the life, but we are talking about Lawson, so I wouldn't expect anything more. Coming in at number five, actually tied with Lawson, and that's Alyssa. She earns on average about $1,500 a month with 118,000 subscribers. Alyssa gets pretty good views, but her content isn't as exciting as the others unless she's like announcing something. Also, her husband is not as involved with her channel like the sisters. Number four is Chad and Aaron with $2,500 per month with 118,000 subscribers. Although Aaron, to me personally, is not all that interesting, I think many viewers are intrigued on a lot of her lifestyle choices. So next at number three is Carlin and they are bringing in about $3,000 monthly from YouTube with the most subscribers at 181,000. I'm actually shocked that they are not at the number one spot. Seeing that her husband Evan is very serious about this YouTube thing, even taking every opportunity to turn lemons into some lemonade. So using Carlin's help as some major topic leads also helped them earn a lot more. But coming in at number two is Trace and Lydia bringing home $8,000 per month with only 55,000 subscribers. So I don't want people to get subscribers and views confused because just because you have a little bit of subscribers, that doesn't matter. If you get the good views, that's where the money comes in. So this was quite a shock to me because they have absolutely no enthusiasm in their vlogs. But hey, people seem to either like it or just watching to be nosy. And coming in at number one, Katie and Travis bringing in $21,000 a month in revenue and they have 139,000 subscribers. And I am not at all surprised that the youngest couple is bringing in some good money because they have a lot of character. They have plenty going on. They display their real thoughts about their marriage without trying to sugarcoat anything. And they share their struggles. Katie's husband is also really great at making clever ideas to add to their family vlog. So that grabs viewers' attention. I know it grabbed mine. And in addition to YouTube, Katie's husband is a media assistant reporter and a kids choir leader at their church in New Jersey. So that's where we are at with the kids and their earnings in YouTube. And let's just say some of them don't need to quit their day jobs. But as far as Travis and Katie, I mean, they could at any point. So tell me your thoughts and comments below. I want you guys to please subscribe to my channel for more. And I will be back. Bye for now.